Okay, guys, this morning we're talking about one of Milwaukee's most unique festivals. Going to die a little bit inside. Pug Fest returns next Sunday, May 20th. And talking about it this morning are Deanna and Jason O'Connell. Good morning, you guys. Good morning. Oh, this just makes me so happy. Look at the pugs. There's just pugs everywhere. There okay, so pugs everywhere. we have Lacey and Compass. And there are our ambassadors today for Pug Fest. So tell us what people can expect at Pug Fest. <laughs> um, Lots of pugs. Lots of pugs. <laughs> so. Last year there was uh, like 3,800 people and like 2,100 pugs. Well, not all. It's not all pugs. Okay. It's, it, um, you can bring your any smush face dog. Any, any smush yeah. face dog. <laughs> it, um, so people just come and half the fun is seeing all the dogs and all the people enjoying themselves. But we do pug races. We have pug costume contest. Um, we have blessings of the pug. So all you can bring your pug in to get mm -hmm. blessed it's <laughs> that's fantastic it is and pretty awesome got the, the not growls he's just excited he's right? excited yeah, yeah he's snorty they're he's a little snorty. snorty. I've heard snorty. that about pugs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he's like a little that. snorty. So that's, we can expect lots of snorts going uh, on lots of snorts. on Sunday. Yeah. That, but no, no fighting. No fighting. No, so what's the the, the most get... interesting costume you've seen at Pug Fest? Um, we got to amp up the game here. Well, I like the the. With, there's a category where they have them in floats and oh, carts and stuff. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. So I think one of the best I've seen is a remote control car driving around that's got <laughs> the pug perched in the car. That's yeah. a pretty good one. Um, yeah, there's good one. princesses in kissing, you know, oh, kissing booths, and uh, mm -hmm. it's it's it, it's really creative. So this is going to be happening again. It's next weekend. It's going to be at Correct. in in Franklin. It's in at Franklin. the sports complex. Yeah, Milwaukee yep. um, Indoor Sports Complex yep. on Ryan Road. Doors um, open at 9:45. Okay. Mm -hmm. First 300 families get goodie bags with all kinds of merchandise and stuff from local vendors and what, whatnot. Now, I'm going to ask a kind of a personal question. <laughs> Lindsay doesn't have a pug, but I really want to see all the pugs. Can I come without a pug? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. absolutely. But if you own a pug, it is mandated by a court of law. You have to come. Okay. That's <laughs> absolutely fine. And we can get shirts there, right? I can, oh. yeah. I can oh, get yeah, absolutely. Shirt. You can get the pug fest shirts. Awesome. And all that all right. So if you guys, I know. Shirts. It's exciting. Oh. So if you guys want to <laughs> check it out, uh, it's next weekend, next Sunday. And you can see the information's on your screen at the yeah. Milwaukee County Indoor Sports Complex. Guys, thanks so much for joining us. Thank, Thank you. You can just leave the leave the pugs here. That's <laughs> totally fine. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Eden, a little bit more about today's rain, huh? Yeah, today's rain. Thank you. Graduation ceremonies around the area. What plans are in place at UW Madison if it does start to rain on commencement? That's straight ahead. Stay with us. You're watching WISN 12 News this morning. Be the first to know when news breaks. Download the WISN 12 News app right now.
leading the way with important local coverage. You're watching WISN 12 News this morning. Just call my mama, bro. On the call my mama. A mall parking lot police punch. Cell phone video shows an officer punching a suspect in the face at Mayfair Mall. What police are saying about the video. And it is graduation day for thousands of students in Wisconsin. The ceremony happening rain or shine at Camp Randall and the special guest appearance. Good morning and welcome to WISN 12 News this morning. It's 8 o'clock on this Saturday, May 12th. Let's get your day started with a look at your forecast. Lindsay, it's a bit foggy out there. We had some, a lot of rain yesterday. Today, not as much as we did yesterday, right? Yes, so we got about 0.94 inches of rain or basically almost an inch of rain when it started yesterday and up until early this morning. Now, we're seeing things kind of settle down a little bit across Milwaukee and areas to the south of 94. The main action right now is near the state line, and I believe that's where most of it is going to be today and that's really because this is where that frontal boundary is setting up actually it's almost right along i-80 so that's why we have this big old blob of rain that's moving through right now along i-55 we're not going to see a whole lot of activity at least for a lot of today there's going to be a lot of dry hours you might get a little bit of drizzle here and there so just kind of keep it in mind keep the umbrella on standby we're not completely done another round of rain is on the way very chilly out there temperatures not feeling too great right now in Racine 41 degrees gloomy right now uh, in Milwaukee it's around 42 so again rain is going to stay south mainly this morning by about the mid afternoon we have a lot of dry time the winds are going to be out of the northeast 10 to 15 later on tonight Eden that's when we get the next big batch of rain and that should be it leading into early on Mother's Day. So we'll be good for a while. We just got to get through this last little bit of rain. All right. I'm so glad that the weather is going to be nice on Mother's Day. I think right. a lot of people are looking forward to that. Absolutely. Thanks, Lindsay. <laughs> a shooting on Milwaukee's south side overnight sent a 20-year-old woman to the hospital. This happened just after 2 this morning near 13th and Beecher. Police say the woman's injuries are serious. Detectives at the scene are investigating what led up to the gunfire. A suspect punched in the face by a Wauwatosa police officer. Several witnesses saw the altercation yesterday afternoon at Mayfair Mall. This is video from the parking lot after police arrived on the scene for a report of disorderly conduct. A separate cell phone video from another witness shows one of the officers punching a suspect in the face. Oh, why are you punching like that? Ain't he a minor? WISN 12 News' Tim Elliott spoke with the man who shot the video. The video starts with the punch. Why are you punching like that? Watch again as the officer scuffled with the suspect. A mall security guard is also involved. That's when the officer unleashed a punch right to the face. The suspect then dropped to the ground. Both the officer and the security guard tried to put the suspect's hands behind his back. He is yelling for his friend to call his mother, and that's when the officer hit him again in the back and then again in the face. Tyrone Jackson filmed the incident and says as soon as he saw the officer approach the suspect, he knew he should start recording. Honestly, I wanted to help. I wanted to help, but then I didn't want to get myself in no trouble as well. They, uh, you know, right is right, wrong is wrong, wrong, wrong is wrong. And uh, I feel like it could have used better little force other than that, punch him in the face. Always obey authority, that's my opinion. But when he's young and he feel like he ain't did nothing, he ain't did nothing wrong. So he feel like I didn't have to talk to you. And he had that right. And the officer felt different. And you know, yes, he was resisting, but a punch to the face to a young man is totally different. That's Tim Elliott reporting. Police tell us the video only shows a small segment of what happened between the suspect and the officer. They also say the suspect is 17 years old. He was arrested for disorderly conduct, battery, and resisting an officer.